Today is Friday, August 20th, and this is Mr. Rackler's Weekly Webcast. Hi, everybody. Thanks again for tuning in. Uh, to begin with, uh, just kind of a status report on the uh, classroom as it is, and we're starting to settle in. We're starting to hit a routine, hitting all the subjects. We should be seeing a little bit more homework at night uh, starting next week as we are getting into the full groove of being at school. I will say, I'm pretty proud of these guys. They're uh, a good class, and they're listening, and no drama, and uh, uh, just everything's cruising right along as it could or should be, so uh, I'm, I'm really happy. Um, on a side note, reminder on math facts, please make sure that they're doing their math facts every night, at least 100 math facts on mathfactspro.com. Uh, I'm trying to incentivize it as best as I can, uh, but a little support from home and a little just to check and say, hey, did you do your math facts? Maybe. Uh, also, some of you have asked about the uh, our reading inventory levels, uh, the scholastic RI levels, and uh, there was a hiccup in the system, and we took it the first week of school, but it wasn't ready to be taken yet, so those scores weren't saved, and yeah. Uh, technical problems. So uh, we will be taking the RI and the MI end of next week. So look for uh, Lexile scores next week. Uh, also, speaking of next week and next Friday, we are going to have our very first Lunch with the Doctor on Friday. And in case you want to preview the episode, it will be Season 1, Episode 1, entitled Rose. This is the new half of Doctor Who, not the old half of Doctor Who. Uh, this started back in uh, uh, the early 2000s, the uh, when they revamped the show and, and redid it for its modern incarnations. So uh, uh, this episode starring Christopher Eccleston as the Doctor. Uh, and it introduces the series and everything, and it's just a really good starting point to uh, introduce the kids to the wonderful world of Doctor Who. Thank you in advance for signing those uh, Doctor Who permission slips, and if you haven't signed them yet, there are a couple. Uh, I can't let them march without it, just as an acknowledgement that you understand that we understand that everyone understands. And um, uh, otherwise, they, they will go to lunch and they'll go to recess as normal. So no worries there. Uh, and. Looking forward to next week, what are we doing in class? Well, in science, we're going to be starting our space unit. We'll be looking at the planets and comparing and tra contrasting the Jovian to the terrestrials and all that other good stuff uh, that goes with our planets. In reading, we're going to be working on summarizing as well as using the race strategy. And you might see me writing race on some of their tests and quizzes and practices. And the race strategy, uh, uh, you can find a, a full page write up in their reading journals. But race means to restate the question, R, A, ask the question, C, cite evidence from the text, they need to use a quote, and then explain why that evidence makes your point. And this is a higher order thinking skill. It's a higher order test taking strategy. And it is something that everyone is expected to be able to do uh, by the time milestones roll around. So it's something that we'll be working on all year long. So we're throwing some focus on that right now as we're relearning how to write and how to answer questions. Speaking of writing, we'll be working on our personal narratives next week and taking a look at different segments of it, such as the introduction and the ending and expanding what we're talking about and uh, uh, including sensory detail and all that good stuff. And in math, of course, we'll be working on rounding and we'll be starting some word problems as well. So that's everything in a nutshell. I hope everybody's had a great week. We've had a really good week here in class. Have a fantastic weekend, and we'll see you all next week.